The news is your local election headquarters, and there are a number of big races happening today across our area. And in South Carolina, voters will try out a new way to cast their ballots. 7 News' Jennifer Martin is live at the Greenville County Elections Office. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, good morning. That's right. Today, voters will decide on many different local races that will impact their communities, like races for mayor, city council, and school school boards. And uh, voters in South Carolina will also be using a new voting system using machines that combine paper ballots and digital technology. So here's what you have to do to use those new machines. You just insert a paper ballot, use a touch screen to make your selections. Then that paper ballot will print out, and you'll insert that paper ballot to cast your vote. So you just need to bring a government issued photo ID to the polls with you. And you can find your polling place and sample ballot online at scvotes.org. The State Election Commission says the new system makes voting simpler and allows for a paper record of the election. Officials say they don't anticipate lines to be too much longer because of the new system, but they recommend giving yourself some extra time to vote, saying the busiest times are usually from 7 to 9 in the morning. It's going to take them a little bit longer because they're dealing with having to get this paper ballot printed. Now, the actual vote is just like on the old system. They press, you know, their choice and, and go page to page. And at the end of that, you know, they'll have to press a button to print their ballot out. Officials say this will help them audit uh, all of these votes a little bit easier as well. Now, uh, voting is from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in South Carolina and 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. in North Carolina. Back to you. Jennifer Martin, live in Greenville. Thank you. Well, 40 counties in South Carolina will hold at least one election today. Political experts say these elections are important as voters decide their next mayor, city council members, and school board members. The police, the level of crime, all the ty type of things that go on in your neighborhoods, local development, so that people can have more of an impact on their kind of local public officials than they uh, do on at the national level. So that's one of the reasons why local elections are so important. Local elections generally have a low voter turnout between 10 and 20%. Roughly 70% of registered voters, though, come out during a presidential election and about 50% for a governor's race. Well, remember, 7 News will bring you election results as they come in tonight. We'll have full coverage on air, online, and in our 7 News app.